Around the time you wake up tomorrow, you could be witnessing history. NASA is a go for its first spacecraft lunar mission in nearly 50 years. It's uncrewed, which means no astronauts will be on board, but it does not mean that heading to the moon with nothing will occur. ABC 13's Nick Natario explains some fun facts about the project and what we can expect to happen in the morning. the Artemis 1 launch, NASA has released animation showing what it'll look like. On Monday morning, NASA may no longer have to rely on animation anymore. Um, all told, from liftoff to return and splashdown off the coast of California, um, the Orion crew capsule will travel approximately 2.2 million miles. The window to launch opens Monday morning, starting around 7.30 Houston time, and is open for two hours, meaning it could launch at any moment during that time. If you're just learning about the mission, here are some facts. It's called Artemis because it's a sister to Apollo, which first took humans to the moon more than 50 years ago. The rocket has never launched before. When it does, it'll use 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. The boosters will burn 3 million pounds of propellant in two minutes. Once it's in space, the capsule will travel further than any other spacecraft going around the moon, a vessel that'll be monitored right here in Houston. Uh, Johnson Space Center is uh, going to be the epicenter for Orion Command and Control as the capsule uh, is on its journey. The mission will last more than a month. There aren't astronauts, but Alexa, Snoopy, and Sean the Sheep will be on board. There will also be three mannequins that will have sensors on them to see what humans will experience. You might be there, too. More than three million people submitted their names to NASA to travel to deep space. Once complete, the capsule won't land in Florida. It'll splash down in the Pacific Ocean. The special features aren't only for the spacecraft either. Anybody at home can actually go in and ask Alexa uh, about Artemis and, and the moon, and they'll be able to hear about this mission. If the rocket doesn't launch Monday morning, there are two other opportunities, the first being this Friday. If it's successful, astronauts could be on board in months. Uh, we're returning our astronauts to the lunar surface to stay this time. The moon and then on to Mars, deep space missions that will be impacted by what happens Monday morning. Nick Notario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.